Aldo Leopold said, land is not merely soil. It is a fountain of energy flowing through a circuit of soils, plants, and animals. Food scraps and yard debris account for more than 30% of what we toss away, which could be composted instead. Composting these materials keeps them out of landfills where they take up space and emit methane, a harmful greenhouse gas. With a minimal time investment, you can help to solve a community trash disposal problem while enriching the soil and enhancing the health of your yard and garden. Hey guys, I'm Melky and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is the fourth R, which is rock. Once again, Sahar will be joining us to share her opinion on the topic. Hi everyone, I'm Sahar Mansoor and I'm the founder of a social business called Bare Necessities. And we make sustainable products that are designed not to land up in our oceans and land. Talk about sustainability, the four R's often come to mind. And to be honest, I think I've studied about you know recycling and reducing since I was in kindergarten. But um, I think as I grew up, I've have kind of evolved my understanding of the four R's, and I'm so excited to be sharing it with all of you today in the Wellbeing series. Hi everyone, today we are talking about rot, which is the fourth R's when you're talking about the four R's in sustainability. Um, so rot is actually a one that people don't often talk about, but I think is super important. Um, and it refers to the natural process of composting. Um, so this is everything that you can do with your wet waste or your organic waste that comes from your kitchen. Um, all you need to do is put it into a kamba. Um, if you don't have a kamba, no worries. You can use a plastic bucket or um, anything really that is made out of clay, terracotta, um, you just need to pop some holes in them so it's being aerated um, and basically allows for that anaerobic process of decomposition. Um, so composting is super super important because when you mix plastic with food waste that's what causes that stench and smell um, often associated with you know all of our waste. Um, the other thing is that um, methane gets built up and that's why we hear about landfill sometimes going on fire like the Gaza food landfill for example. The thing about methane is that it's also 23 times more dangerous than carbon dioxide um, and can cause combustion right so what we want to do is um, segregate all of your dry waste earlier so you can potentially recycle that and then you take all of your organic kitchen waste and you can basically put it into your kamba. Um, what you need to do is first put a fistful of pre-mix powder or cocoa peat um, and then you have to put your organic waste. If you don't have pre-mix powder or cocoa peat, you can also use dried leaves and you can kind of crumble them up, um, crushed leaves or you can use shredded cardboard um, from maybe an e-commerce kind of delivery and that forms your brown layer. So you put that then you layer it up with um, your banana peel from your morning smoothie and all your other amazing vegetable uh, peels and scraps and then again you put another fistful of the brown layer. So there you go, layer, layer, layer. So you just have one organic layer sandwiched between two brown layers um, and then that basically causes it to decompose and go back to the nature. Um, I think composting is beautiful, it's an uh, entry way into kind of living more sustainably or going zero waste. Uh, and I think it's also really beautiful about how the waste of a one kind of fruit or vegetable becomes life for another. Um, and you can use this amazing fresh compost in your garden um, and you can top up all of your little plants um, or you can grow veggies in them. It's super nutritious for the soil. Thank you, Sahar, for giving us insights on the fourth R, rock. Think twice the next time you go out to throw out your food waste because you have the option to make a better choice. Bye for now and see you next week.